yes, thank you for joining me in this video today, which is a part of a series in which I will read a paragraph to you. Uh, embedded within this paragraph are potential errors for, or related to, I should say, grammar, spelling, punctuation, syntax, and the like. It may contain a combination of all of those vectors. Um, otherwise, it may focus only on a certain subset, so just keep that in mind as I read it to you. Afterwards, I'll step out of frame and ask that you pause the video to read it independently and make corrections on your own. Resume so that we can correct them together. Ideally, your corrections will align with my own, but with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, as I said, I'm going to go ahead and read the paragraph. <coughs> Excuse me. Building a beaver lodge is hard work. North America's largest rodent, however, has a body well suited for underwater activity. Beavers have transparent eyelids that act as goggles to protect their eyes underwater. I did not know that. They can close off their nose, ears, and throat to keep the water out. Their powerful webbed back feet make them excellent swimmers. Their coarse, heavy fur are waterproof. Their broad, sharp front teeth can cut and carry wood. All right, go ahead and pause the video. Hopefully you can read that. Go ahead and pause the video to make your corrections independently and resume when ready. <coughs> All right, since I am moving, you've likely started the video. So let's go ahead and resume the video. Let's go ahead and correct. Starting with our first word at the sentence, we have building, which phonetically sounds like the word I would love to use. However, it is incorrectly spelled. Instead, it should be capital B. U-I-L-D-I-N-G. So building a beaver lodge is hard work, period. North Americas, now we're saying that we don't have a plurality of North Americas. Instead, North America, the continent, is in possession of, so I'm going to use the apostrophe S, so North America's largest rodent, comma, however, we're splicing in this pause, has a body well underscore suited. This is not the correct punctuation mark. What would, what was intended to be used or what should be used is a hyphen showing a strong connection between these two words. So I'm going to go ahead and hyphenate it, which means I'm going to elevate that underscore. So well suited for underwater activity, period. Beavers, starting a new sentence, let's begin with a capital. Beavers have transparent eyelids that act as goggles to protect their eyes underwater, period. We've concluded that thought. They can close off their nose. It looks like we're making a list. Oh, excuse me. We're making a list, their nose, ears, and throat to keep the water out, period. Their powerful webbed back feet make them excellent swimmers, period. Starting a new sentence, their coarse heavy fur is waterproof, period. Their broad, comma, sharp front teeth can cut and carry wood, period. All right, uh, again, hopefully your corrections match my own. Of course, if you made different modifications or you know alternative modifications, you're welcome to let me know what you did in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe as well if you'd like to continue to practice with me. All right, thank you for joining. Oops.